Hello and welcome to this Instruction Learner Plan video brought to you by BI. Today we're going to talk about Breakback in Anaplan. Breakback is a functionality whereby changes in a total value are distributed to all the values included in it. Allocation is carried out on a prorated basis. Breakback can work across multiple dimensions and could possibly affect millions of cells in one go. In order to enable breakback, you have to enter the blueprint mode of the desired module, find the breakback column for the desired line item, and select the tick box. Breakback is off for newly created line items, however, I'm going to show you how to change the default state of the functionality. After enabling breakback, the affected totals will have a blue triangle at the top left corner. Now let's switch to Anaplan and see how the functionality works. For the purpose of our example, we're going to be using this module showing current year sales and previous year sales. It has two dimensions, our time dimension and our region. In order to activate breakback, we're going to enter the blueprint mode, then scroll to the right where we're going to see the breakback column. Then we're going to select the tick box for the appropriate line item. We can see that the tick box for that line item is greyed out, which means that breakback is not going to work for it. This is because it has a formula in it. Here, at the top of the column, you can see the default state of breakback for newly created line items. It is now off, however, if you click here, you can change it to on. Let's go back to the regular view of the module. As we can see, all the totals that are going to be affected by breakback have the blue triangle at the top left corner. If we'd like to remove that, we can go to the Help menu and then press Hide Breakback Markers. If we'd like to show them again, we're going to go to the same menu again and press Show Breakback Markers. How does breakback work? Simply, when a total is changed, all the values included in it would change on a prorated basis. If there is nothing in the cells, the totals are going to be distributed evenly. We're going to see the hold functionality, which, when applied to a specific cell or cells, will not allow breakback to change them. Let's switch to Anaplan and see how this works. After breakback is enabled, when hovering above a total, we are going to see how many cells are going to be affected by it. In this case, it is three cells. Let's change that total. As you can see, all of these three cells changed. They changed depending on the percentage each of them is from the total value. In this case, where we have nothing in the cells, as said earlier, the total is going to be distributed evenly among them. Important note, if we have non-zero cells totaling to zero, such as in this case, breakback is not going to work and Anaplan is going to raise an error. Now let's see how breakback works across multiple dimensions. When we hover above this total, for example, we can see that it is going to affect 12 cells. This is because it works across our time dimension and our list dimension. Let's change it. As you can see, all of these 12 cells are now changed. Now let's say that we would like certain cell or cells to remain unchanged. We could use the hold functionality in this case. In order to use it, press the right button, then click on the breakback menu and then press hold. As you can see, the cell is now greyed out, which means that breakback is not going to change it. Note that this is still an input cell, thus it could be changed manually. Let's now change that total. As you can see, 
only that cell changed and this one remained as it was. We could release the held cells by pressing the right button again, then clicking the breakback menu and pressing release. If we press release all, this is going to release all cells that are currently on hold. And this is how breakback works in Anaplan. We have managed to cover the most important points about the breakback functionality in Anaplan. If you'd like to learn more on the functionality, you can visit Anaplan's Anapedia. Thank you very much for your attention and I wish you a great day. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.